Welcome to the Track About video series, Asset Classifications. In this video, we will discuss how to add and manage asset classifications in Track About. Asset classifications lay the foundational hierarchy for organizing and managing assets in Track About. Before any assets can be added or tracked in the system, asset classifications will have to be established and entered into the database. It is important to establish strong asset classifications and to do so accurately and early on. Asset classifications are the basis of all organization and reporting that is available within Track About. Asset classifications are used to help you organize your assets into groupings. For one example of how asset classifications impact reporting and inventory, please visit the current inventory page. You also need to establish, add, and map product codes to the system prior to entering assets. We will cover adding and managing product codes in another video. From any page, you can reach the Asset Classifications page by using the Jump To box on the left Quick Navigation pane and typing Asset Classifications and then clicking Enter, or by using the left-hand navigation menu to select Track About Config and then Asset Classifications. The first time you visit the Asset Classifications page, you'll see that there are pre-populated example items available for you to review in the system. The first navigation options we see on the page are the Expand All and Collapse All options. By clicking on Expand All, you can see all levels of classification. First is Category, then Group, then Type. Clicking on Collapse All will hide all group and type items below the categories. Next, let's look at how to add a classification. To add a top-level asset classification, known as a category, click on Asset Classifications. Once we click on Asset Classifications, we see a blue hyperlink named Add New Top-Level Category appear. When we click on Add New Top-Level Category, we will be redirected to the Add New Category page, where we can add information about the category we would like to add. You will want to add the category's name and click Save. You will be redirected to the Asset Classification page, and you'll be able to see the new category you've created. You now have the option to edit the new category that has been added, or you can add a group below that category. To launch these options, you will click on the name of the category you want to add a group to, and you will see the options displayed for Edit This Category and Add New Group. To add a new group, you will click on Add New Group below. You'll be redirected to the Add New Group page. Here you are given the option to select a category under which to assign a new group and a field to enter the name of the group which you would like to add. Once completed, click Save and you'll be redirected back to the Asset Classifications page. It is the same process to add a new type below a group level classification. You can make edits to any of these category, group, or type level classifications by simply clicking on the name of the item you would like to edit. On the Edit Item page, you have the option to change the name of the item and the status of the item. Offline items still reside in the system, but you will no longer be able to assign new assets to these classifications. A brief help overview of the navigation of this page is available under the Go To Help option in the upper right hand corner of the page. More information about how to choose and assign asset classifications for category, group, and type are available in the Track About Wiki on the Asset Classifications page. In this video, we have learned how to add and edit asset classifications such as category, group, and type. Remember that it's important to establish a strong set of classifications that make sense for your assets and operations. In another video, we will discuss how to add product codes and assign them to the appropriate category, group, and type. Should you need any assistance, please contact your Trackabout support team at support at trackabout.com. Thank you.